One America's Christopher Carter sat down with Dr. Corsi and his wife to discuss. I'm joined here with Dr. Jerry Corsi and his lovely wife, Mrs. Corsi. Thank you so much for joining One America News. Thank you very much, Chris. Thank you for having us. There have been some new developments regarding this Russia investigation with Robert Mueller. Tell me what the latest is right now involving your stepson. My stepson, Monica's son, Andrew, was subpoenaed to appear before the grand jury on Friday. It's been postponed. Uh, we've explained that this involves a, a old desktop Mac computer that I was really not using very heavily. Uh, I had been kind of almost like a desk ornament increasingly. And Monica runs a large property management and cleaning company. And she wanted to use the computer to test out a new scheduling program. And Andrew said, if you're not using this computer, do you mind if I take it? And so evidently, special prosecutor wanted to see if we were destroying evidence. But I have uh, the external hard drive on which we had an application to back up the computer, the Apple Time Machine. So I can completely reconstruct the computer, and everything that was in it is preserved. So I rarely throw anything away. As a journalist, I want to keep all my sources and all my records in case there's a question about something I've written. And in this case, it was very useful to have the backup because it's obvious we're not destroying evidence if I kept the backup and we've offered it to the uh, special counselor. Mrs. Corsi, how does it feel now that the special counsel has now eyed up your son and they're in his crosshairs? <sighs> not well. <laughs> this, is, this is not uh, something I even ever imagined happening. So Andrew is completely away from politics. He doesn't like it, he doesn't enjoy it, he doesn't read about it, and this was before the investigation. And that's what family members do. They repurpose <laughs> machines and everybody in somebody's family is designated as the tech person and they help them out, switch a hard drive, fix a monitor, that's commonplace. You've called Robert Mueller a crooked prosecutor. Talk to me a little bit about this and furthermore, the lack of oversight on these special counsels within the U.S. government. Why these wish hunts and why do they continue? Well, that's why we've filed a federal suit, a lawsuit for $350 million in damages. It's before the U.S. District Court in Washington been assigned to a judge. We're waiting to see when the hearings are going to be. But I'm alleging that this Robert Mueller is completely out of control, that I've been under electronic surveillance illegally, uh, probably from the FISA court. He certainly seemed to know my phone calls and the contents of my phone calls. I wonder how they got them. Uh, we can also prove there's been leaks involving me to the grand jury. And I think the techniques used to interrogate me involve criminal prosecutorial misconduct. This, this is, you know, now they're investigating my stepson. I mean, this is a harassment of the family on a completely innocent issue, and it's uncalled for. The prosecutorial misconduct that you speak of pertains specifically to the leaking of grand jury information by Mueller's team to this LA Times journalist right there on Pennsylvania Avenue. What is his name, Del Wilbur? Del Wilbur, yes, and we have emails indicating that uh, the uh, spokesperson for the special prosecutor has been meeting with that reporter. Also, we now have evidence in a couple of different instances of information regarding me to the grand jury has been leaked. This case has merit, Chris, and we're going to take it all the way to the Supreme Court if we need to. I want this case heard. I don't want any other Americans to have to go through the horror show. Mm -hmm. I've done nothing wrong. And now with my wife involved and my stepson, I mean, it's affected the whole family, Monica. It has. Let me ask you this, Mrs. Corsi. We're undergoing confirmation hearings about a potential new... Yes probably going to happen 100% Attorney General Bill Barr. What would you say to Bill Barr about this investigation? That this got to stop. Innocent people should not have to go through what we're going through. This is a family. I mean, give me a break. He's so not essentially interested. you're a small business owner who's now being harassed by the large yes, ginormous and... special counsel of the United States federal government. Exactly. I mean, my son is a regular everyday guy that goes to work with mom <laughs> they treat people like criminals and they and they make you feel like you are one when you are not and i would say to mr barr uh tell me to leave my family alone this is absolutely uncalled for i'm angry i think this is a complete lack of due process and it shows the unequal justice i'm being persecuted 
because the special prosecutor, special counsel as prosecutors don't like my writing, my politics. It's got to come to an end. So please, Mr. Barr, I would say, leave my family alone. Stop it. You want to investigate me? I've, I've came in to cooperate. I'll continue to cooperate. I've done nothing wrong, but leave my family alone. Dr. Corsi and Mrs. Corsi, thank you so much for joining One American News Network. Thank you very much for having us. Thank you, Chris. Thank you. Want to see more videos like this? Click on the link below and subscribe to One American News on YouTube and call your cable provider and kindly demand that One American News is added to your lineup. Call and subscribe today.